and then they saw something even more amazing. What looked like dried up river valleys. That was a complete surprise. I mean, this was supposed to be a dry, frozen planet, and here we have evidence of things that look like old riverbeds. And it completely changed people's view of Mars in that sense, back to something that might have been more Earth-like in the past and much more dynamic uh, than the moon. If these were dried up riverbeds, it meant that Mars must once have had the perfect conditions for life. Rivers form from streams. Streams are fed by rain. Rain falls from clouds, and clouds mean an atmosphere. Mars must once have been like the Earth is today, if these were rivers. The pictures from Mariner just weren't clear enough to be sure. Five years later, the Viking orbiters arrived with better cameras. Some of these valleys had faint tributaries, just like rivers on Earth. And these really look like terrestrial river valleys when you look at them. And you can see one here. You can see there's a, a valley through here, and you can see it branches. There are tributaries. Here's one branch going off here with tributaries. So this looks very much like uh, a terrestrial uh, river system. But many scientists just wouldn't accept that rivers had once flowed on Mars. The Viking images still weren't good enough to settle the argument. Then, in 1998, Mars Global Surveyor arrived, equipped with the latest high-resolution electronic cameras. Sections of the valleys were revealed in fantastic detail. But these amazing pictures were still no use. These valleys had all been eroded and filled in with sand. It was impossible to say how they'd been formed. Then, after they'd searched through thousands of images, they struck gold. A winding valley, two kilometers wide, and at a bend in the canyon, a tiny channel. The unmistakable trace of an ancient river. This is the best evidence that we have that climate in the past was different from what it is today, that there were warmer conditions on Mars. 